here's a bonus tip for you guys. So since what you're looking out because I can't find my command hooks and um, I also forgot the backdrop I wanted to use. So I'm just gonna have to connect it to this, uh, to this piece of wood right here that's on the wall. So this is connected to the wall. It's not going anywhere. So this is good to use if you are, um, if you have a flat surface, any flat surface. So this is gonna be, make sure the wall's clean. It's gonna be our anchor. I did this in another video, I just don't know. I can't remember which one. But we're gonna do bottom tape or top tape, bottom tape, right? Guess I should. We'll just we'll just make it how we want to make it. Uh, okay. So we got this, right? Next, we are going to take a 260. And we're going to take our 260, tape it in the middle. So gaffer's tape comes in different thicknesses. I only have the one size, so we're just gonna do the best we can. We're gonna tape it down like this. Make sure that's nice and secure. Nice and flappy, right? Then we're gonna put another tape here and another tape here. Make sure nothing comes off the wall. So you don't wanna tape down your 260, you just wanna pull it to the side. Do that. And then, ooh, pull this to the side again. Do that. And then now you have 260 on the wall. So you can either do it vertically, you can do it horizontally. Whichever way you do it, just make sure you um, have the different, the two layers of tape around it. So then that way you know that your stuff's not gonna fall off the wall. So I'm gonna do this on the two sides just so you guys can see the secureness of the garland. I'm not trying to hang it and make it look ultra cute or anything. So now that we have this up, we're gonna take our garland, our mini garland, I should say, and we're gonna basically use this as a circle or as a loop and we're just going to tie it off at the top okay so now we have this loop that we can basically put around any balloon that we want so i'm going to use the use the middle color the robin's egg so that way it could be off the ground and you guys can see it but we're going to take this loop we're gonna take our balloon and we're gonna just loop this loop around our balloon and then it'll secure to your wall. So in this last part of the video, I just wanna show you guys how to add your fillers to your base. Um, I am actually starting to lose sunlight. I forget that it daylight savings has happened and um, it gets darker a little earlier, so um, I didn't plan that out too well. Our dumbbell method, we have the quad on one side and we have the dupe on the other side. So when you see holes or gaps like this right here or this right here, these are perfect spaces that you want to use your fillers or your dumbbells, whatever you want to call them, and put add them to your base. So when you're adding them to your base, this uh, 260 part is going to go around any balloon that you choose. And so whatever space you're trying to fill, you just wanna make sure that you start there and then come back around to it. So you're always gonna end up where you started, if that makes sense. So you're gonna, I wanna fill this hole, I just wanna fill this hole here. So I'm gonna start under there, press my 260 in, wrap one side of the dumbbell around and then they fill in that hole. That makes sense? So we'll try another 
area. So right here between the two colors, you can either do the blue or you can do um, the robin's egg. It just depends on what you have available. So this one is our little short dumbbell right here. And since the hole's not that big, you don't have to wrap around. You just have to, um, but you wanna make sure that you are placing this in the right space. And the good thing about this being shorter is you're really, wrapping it around is optional because it'll, it'll make more tension on the 260. But if you don't wanna wrap it around and you just wanna slip it in and let it nestle naturally in the hole, then you can do that as well. So with this, it's similar to the shorter dumbbell um, because you're just basically putting it on and not looping around anything. Since this is already a loop, it's going to stretch really nicely. And so I just want it to go right there. So I'm just going to pick this lower balloon here. Get that around and boom. All right. Similar to what we did on this section here where we had the choice of the two colors, we're going to do the same thing here. So since I want to fill this space here above the white, I'm actually going to use this dumbbell because it's nice and stretchy and go under the white, but then loop it around to where it ends up on the top. So let me show you that. I'm going to go under this big white one right here and get it in between and then we're just gonna push our there and you can actually what I did on the end is just crisscross the two into the four and then um, it makes this little bunch right here and so that gives it a little more depth and a little more um, dimension so yeah, I'll just keep adding fillers until I have no more fillers. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this video series and enjoyed um, learning how to make a balloon arch, an organic balloon arch from, uh, from scratch, basically. It's a step-by-step -step guide. I hope it's useful for you guys. If you have any questions on any of the videos, please put them in the comments so I can answer them or make a more in-depth video for you and hope to see you in the next one. Stay crafty. <laughs>